All right, guys. Well, it is a sort of spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times. As you can see, a little bit smoky today here uh, on this otherwise spectacularly gorgeous mid-August day. It is Thursday afternoon. Uh, that is August 15, 2024. And guys, uh, uh, okay, we're going to have a little uh, unvarnished honesty for once uh, coming out of this uh, schizophrenic doomer's mouth. Uh, and, and this is going to be the third video that kind of I have made about a uh, Corey ecologist Corey Bradshaw but more importantly this is a video this this one here is going to be a a, a, a just uh, laying it out there calling the bullshit on that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles and uh, this all started this morning when I got up this morning and I wanted to take uh, the reins uh, on this uh, on this rant. I hear people want to see Sancho out in the. Gotta chase my dog around the yard. Can you see that little dog? Is he photo bombing? A anyway, so I get up this morning, uh, get all jacked up on coffee, and, and so uh, you know I have these two people living in my head. I, I, I have the eco-Nazi loud mouth uh, Hambone Little Tail, you know the performance artist uh, Hambone Little Tail, the, the uh, self-proclaimed eco-Nazi and then there's that little eco-pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles. So I, meaning Hambone Little Tail, this is Humpty Dumpty Tribe you're listening to in case you're confused, I wanted the rant uh, but no, uh, I got into a big fight. The 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 eco Nazi in me gets in a big fucking fight with the eco pussy uh, Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles, and and the guy just wore me down. And I said, "Fuck it, dude, take the rant." And so, like a fool, I gave the rant to Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles, uh, but I'm a little bit glad I did, uh, but because Sam Mitchell, uh, during the first rant uh, uh, of this morning, misquoted uh, Corey Bradshaw, and uh, then several people said, uh, Sam, I think you uh, misunderstood Corey Bradshaw and so then I had that was a 43 minute rant so then I had to go on and do a half apology video to uh, to Corey Bradshaw and, and a little bit by uh, default to uh, Nate Hagens and uh, explain uh, what happened and set the record straight and all of this shit but I did not take the first video down because uh, I, I still stood by 40, uh, about 40 of the 43 minutes of that video. Uh, I, I think that little eco pussy did an okay job on that. We're going to stop talking about Corey Bradshaw. You can go listen to those two videos. But uh, we're, we're going to talk about this fellow Nate Hagens. But before we do, I just want to read several of the comments from uh, people over there uh, listening to that little eco pussy uh, uh, over there at, uh, at Collapse Chronicles. I guess that little eco pussy, let's see, he number one called Nate Hagen's a doomer. Uh, I'm 99% sure I'm not misquoting Sam Mitchell. I, I, he, he, he called Nate Hagens a doomer, and I'm pretty sure that Sam Mitchell called uh, Nate Hagens 
one of his heroes, you know, as one of the great chroniclers of the collapse, and uh, several alert listeners uh, got a real knee slapper out of that. Uh, here is, I, I'm just going to read a few of the comments. Anyone who follows Nate Hagen's would have to be a clueless moron to not understand that Nate is an apocaloptimist. The whole point of the great simplification is to bend, not break. That means finding how, in terms of the poly and metacrisis, what type of civilization might sustainably save the maximum number of Homo sapiens? Nate's conversational style is not one of an adversarial cross-examination. It's just a friendly conversation, uh, which is kind of what uh, Sam Mitchell he used to try to foster back, a, you know, when he interviewed people for Collapse Chronicles, till he just simply got sick and fucking tired uh, of all the hopium. Just got sick and tired of it. Uh, where these people they, they would, would come on and talk uh, for 55 minutes about how fucked we are, and then in the last five minutes try to try to convince me in the last five minutes that things were going to turn out okay anyway. I, I just got sick and tired of the fucking hopium. Uh, let's see. Here is Nate is so milk toast. And there you go. Uh, okay. Here is Nate is great to listen to but if you will notice him and all other activist channels all thrive on hopium. That is why most people tune into these channels. Everyone thinks they either have an answer or ha, 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 hope to hear of a valid solution. At this stage in the Doom game, it does not matter how many band-aids we can put on the wound. It's like when you need to put down your pet due to an end-game illness. The longer you wait, the harder it gets. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, here is, uh, let's see, uh, some more reviews of Nate, uh, Hagen's, uh, right, uh, is there anything else? Uh, about Nate Hagen's, good lord, how many comments have I, I gotten, uh, okay, here is, Nate was the one who put a bunch of pressure on Corey to come up with the hopium at the end. He does that with all of his guests as a requirement. Nate claims he is not a doomer at all. Uh, Nate has had nothing but greeny hopium peddlers on his show for the last six months. So this interview, the one with Corey, uh, Bradshaw was the first time I heard any truth spoken on his channel in some time. Uh, and that got a, a, a whole lot of comments. Uh, here is Nate is a milk toast liberal who sp spends half his day looking for cheap flights to Acapulco. He is a hopium dealer. I am totally disappointed with this guy now. 
Uh, okay, anybody? Uh, one more. He, meaning uh, Nate, Nate Hagens, has always been this way. It took two years for him to even allow one of his guests to he even say the word population on his show, and he made sure to push the guy into promoting hopium at the end. Uh, and then someone uh, who who. Uh, uh, who I don't think has ever heard of me before, uh, and, and, and I deserve every bit of this comment, and this is the comment that I'm going to talk about. Uh, this Sam bloke, meaning Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, is all gushing over Holiday Hagen's. He is not... I, I think he meant uh, to say King of the Doomers, uh, meaning Sam Mitchell, he has printed not kind of the Doomers. I think he meant to say he's not King of the Doomers. Is he going to be telling you all to vote for Kamala too? <laughs> We're not going to get into that, obviously, if this dude, and I'm not going to accuse this dude of being a clueless fucking moron because he's never heard of Sam Mitchell or Hambone Littletail, and if he had, he would not have embarrassed himself with that clueless comment that uh, either Sam Mitchell or, uh, or Hambone Littletail would be telling anyone to vote for Kamala Harris, except as an ironic joke. But anyway, I, uh, that aside, let's talk about Sam, this Sam bloke, who is all gushing over Holiday Hagen's. All right, guys, it, 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 it's time for some brutal honesty. Uh, right now, if uh, up until uh, okay, let, let, let's cut the fucking crap about Sam Mitchell and Nate Hagens. Up until I think it was maybe two weeks ago, I accidentally stumbled over this uh, the, the, this something on YouTube. Uh, that that I had no fucking clue in my life who the person was, and it just so happened uh, that my buddy, uh, you, you know, who lives here, real lies, real lies, real lies, uh, was uh, kind of overhearing it, and it was real lies, real lies, real lies who told me that was Nate Hagen's. I had no fucking clue who it was for the simple fucking reason. Uh, I, I had never one time in my entire life ever one time tuned in to one video by Nate Hagen's. Never happened. Last night was the very, very first time I had ever sat down to listen to the infamous Nate Hagens, and the only reason I was listening to Nate Hagens uh, was because I, I wanted to hear Corey Bradshaw, uh, who I had vaguely heard of, and uh, I knew he was an ecologist, an overpopulation, so uh, I, I was hoping uh, I, I was going to uh, get some intelligent conversation, and quite a bit of it was. But uh, the guys, that, and, 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 and this is no insult against Nate Hagen's. Uh, uh, okay, I, I, I'm just assuming uh, compared to the a lot a lot of these uh, people with these doomer channels that that he's probably somewhere in the middle of the pack. Uh, I uh, sitting there for Sam Mitchell to to call Nate Hagen's uh, one of his heroes. Uh, it would be like uh, I, I I don't know 
me calling, uh, well, it would have to be someone, uh, so, some other doomer uh, I, I, I have never listened to one time in my entire life. And, and uh, the, 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 the simple reason for this, and, and again, I'm not insulting Nate Higgins, okay? Uh, I, I'm really not. I'm just assuming, uh, I mean, the reason I don't listen to Nate Hagen's or any of these Doomer interviews. Uh, if I see an interview with William Reese, I will, I will listen to it. But if it's not William Reese or Tim Garrett, or you, you know what I'm talking about, uh, one of the godfathers of real doom, I, 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 I've got no fucking interest in the hopium. Uh, I, I'm assuming, and apparently correctly, that Nate Hagen's uh, in, in his interviews uh, is encountering uh, the very same thing th that uh, I used to encounter in my uh, interviews. Uh, where uh, that, but, but, I, but I was giving Nate Hagen's uh, the, the benefit of the doubt without ever listening to one word out of this man's mouth, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt that uh, he was running up uh, in, in his interviews with the same fucking horseshit that I used to uh, run up against in mine, and, and that is this uh, fucking hopium peddling coming up in the end. And I did not even know uh, until a little bit listening to it last night, but especially all, all I had to judge on uh, last night, I was a little bit confused uh, a, 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 about Nate Hagen's. I, I have to admit, I, I was a little bit confused. I, I did think that he was more doomer uh, than he is. I, 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 I jump to the conclusion that Nate Hagens considers himself a doomer, but I guess I've been educated uh, by people, but apparently, uh, and, and, and why the fuck I'm surprised, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, he's just, uh, that, that, that apparently Nate Hagens, uh, like, like all these other, uh, hopium peddlers, are, uh, are, are spewing this shit, uh, that, that, that do they actually believe this? And, and I understand from the comments that uh, Nate uh, ha has had William Reese uh, on, uh, so I'm going to have to, somehow I missed, I don't know how I missed that interview, so I'm going to go listen to Nate Hagen's interview with William Reese and compare it to my interview with William Reese. Because in my interview with William Reese, uh, there, there was not one fucking ounce, and when I say my, I mean that eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, not one ounce of hopium uh, in, 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 in that hour-long uh, interview. It was hopium, uh, apocaloptimism, uh, greenwashing bullshit free. No trace of it. Uh, and uh, I, I'm curious to see if, uh, if, if A, if Nate Hagen's tries, if Nate Hagen's is going to try to wring some hopium out of William Reese, and uh, more importantly, I'm going to see if Nate Hagen's uh, gets William Reese to uh, to uh, come up with some uh, unadulterated uh, horseshit hopium to make uh, Nate Hagen's happy. So uh, uh, again, this really isn't uh, me me beating up on uh, Nate Hagen's. It, it, it's just that I have no fucking interest. In, in, in hearing this hopium bullshit anymore. I have no fucking interest in it. We're, uh, we're absolutely, completely fucked, as uh, Corey Bradshaw uh, made 100% clear uh, in, in, in that interview last night. 
we are we are completely fucked. There's not one fucking thing uh, th th that anybody can do about it. And uh, then to come up with that fucking opium. Exactly why uh, I stopped interviewing these fucking uh, th 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 these fucking people. I'm sick and fucking tired of it. So uh, you can uh, add a lying sack of shit. So if uh, if Guy McPherson ever wants an example uh, of uh, Sam Mitchell uh, being a fucking liar, uh, I, I am guilty as charged. Uh, 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 that little eco pussy, you know, because I, I I just figured that Collapse Chronicles listeners uh, all had Nate Hagen's dick in their mouths. So I just wanted to, to make sure that uh, people understood that Nate Hagen's uh, w w was one of my heroes. Never heard the fucking uh, guy in my entire life. I would have had no idea whose voice that was. Uh, if you had put his voice on, I would have had no fucking clue who that was. If you had shown me a picture and, and said, Hey, man, I'll give you $1,000 fucking dollars to tell me who this is a picture of. I'd have no fucking clue. <clears throat> he seems like an okay guy. And uh, just, just one more uh, uh, of these hopium soak. Uh, uh, apocaloptimist and uh, I will probably uh, listen to one more interview uh, by the guy and that's the one with William Reese and and then I will never listen to him again and 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 and, and, I, and I'm not picking on Nate Hagens you know I I, 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 I know uh, the reputation that I have uh, down here in the Doomosphere, I, I, I don't fucking deny it. Uh, that that ham bone and Sam Mitchell uh, been out there uh, preaching his, his fucking doom and gloom uh, and ain't gonna happen, uh, you know, for 15 years, but he never fucking listens to anybody else. And, and that's pretty much, I, I, I listen to Environmental Coffee House and Vegematic. Okay, the the YouTube channels I listen to, Environmental Coffee House, Veg the Aging Hippie, uh, Soft White Underbelly, Omeletto, and uh, that's it. Uh, I, 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 you know how many ways uh, can can you say uh, we're so fucked? So there you go. I don't. I don't. I don't listen to any of these doomers. I don't listen to any of these fucking interviews. It. it, it, it you know, with, with, with these fucking hopium peddlers, I, I have no interest in it. 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 it, it it's fucking noise. Anyway, so uh, do not tell anybody. Do not tell any of Sam Mitchell's. That little eco pussy Sam Mitchell's listeners over there at Collapse Chronicles, that uh, Sam Mitchell's uh, hero uh, Nate Hagen's uh, is what he is. That Sam Mitchell had no fucking clue uh, anything about Nate Hagen's, uh, and, and I won't have much more of a clue tomorrow. Anyway, enough of Nate Hagen's. Uh, as I told Sandy uh, about an hour ago, you know, I, I, I just need to keep my fucking nose uh, out of all of these doomer, doomer adjacent, doomer light, hoping, better, whatever. It's none of my fucking business. Uh, Nate Hagen's has no more interest in one word that either Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles and sure as shit ham on Little Tail at, at Humpty Dumpty Tribe has to say. Nate Hagen's has, he, he has never heard uh, of Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles. He's never fucking 
fucking herd uh, of Hambone Little Tail and Humpty Dumpty Tribe. There's not one fucking thing uh, that, that Hambone Little Tail or, or Nate Hagen's uh, gives a flying fuck uh, about one word that either Ham on Little Tail or Sam Mitchell says. Uh, there, there, there is nothing of interest I have to say to Nate Hagen's. Uh, I am not one bit insulted by the fact that Nate Hagen's doesn't give a flying fuck uh, about anything I have to say about anything any more than I give a flying fuck uh, about anything that Nate Hagen's has to say about anything. We're even. There's no insult. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up because it might be about margarita time as the sun sets through the smoky skies. Okay, so this is our little secret. Remember that. I don't want any comments showing up over there at that other channel getting Sam Mitchell, the eco pussy, in trouble because I want everyone over there to think that Nate Hagen's is Sam Mitchell's hero. That I want everyone to think that that Sam bloke is all gushing over Holiday Hagen's and Sam Mitchell sure as shit is not king of the doomers. Bye, guys.